Gentleman from the second district, Representative Barkas. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And uh, I want to thank the good lady from the 27th for her points. But a couple things need to be pointed out. First of all, uh, there were many stakeholders represented in this negotiation, and they represent a myriad of different landlord groups. You have the multifamily, you have this single family, uh, maybe property management companies, then you have the individual property owners, you have the housing uh, authorities, you had the tenants. There were many people. And Mr. Speaker, during those conversations, this was brought up during those conversations. There were discussions about what we call carve-outs. There's always been discussions about set-asides in many different forms of landlord-tenant law debates about the smaller units, the one-to-fours. And so, Mr. Speaker, that's why this amendment came forth. And, and for its late timing on it, it's maybe because of other things in motion around this bill with regards to other amendments. I also want to say, Mr. Speaker, that there was a reference to this mitigation fund. Now, this mitigation fund idea was, was uh, put together last year on another bill called Source of Income. It took many years to come together, and the reason for the mitigation fund was to deal with mitigating damages when a landlord might take a tenant that may not qualify the normal route, may take more risk. So they had a recourse when damages were done to the unit, loss of rent. So that idea had been floated around during this process of negotiation. But it wasn't specifically targeted to the 14 days, Mr. Speaker. It wasn't targeted that you'll get the mitigation fund, we get the 14 days. That was not part of it. It was an overall piece of the discussion of many, many different points that we will be talking about as we get deeper into this bill. So, Mr. Speaker, I think it's important to know that. And the other thing, Mr. Speaker, I know that, uh, yes, there are some pretty crafty individuals out there that maybe will come up with a way that they can group their properties into fours. That is not the intent of this amendment, Mr. Speaker. There are individual landowners, as was just noted, that own one property, two properties, three properties. And they're going to be impacted in a different way than the person who owns a big sky rise or some other thing, or a person who has a company that has systems in place that can handle this type of new law, this complicated new law. This is a good amendment, Mr. Speaker. I think we should adopt it.